Alright guys, so I'm doing a review of the Graf Spi today. Um, it has a lot of going for it. It has heavy armor. I mean, this is turned a, a, was termed for a long time a, a panzer ship, right? Or a pocket battleship or armored ship. Um, it's essentially a very heavy cruiser. It has 40,000 hit points, um, up to 170 millimeter armor, which is tough enough to withstand uh, most cruiser shells. Um, it has big guns. It has six 283 millimeter guns with a 20 second reload and 32% chance to set fire. Not terrible. Or 20% chance to start fire. My bad. <coughs> um, it has, looks like, eight torpedoes, eight kilometer range, max speed of 29 knots. Not great. All right, and um, yeah, they had to, the additional armor lowered the speed of the ship. We're going to go ahead and take it into battle, <coughs> and I'll give a brief little history lesson on the warship. The Graf Spi um, was uh, a product of the Nazi regime. It was built um, in the early 1930s and came into service in 1936 when it was commissioned. This this warship, um, if you're familiar with the, the Nazi strategy, um, naval strategy in World War II, it was to not interact with allied ships. Uh, or, sorry, uh, the allied ships. So don't, don't mess with British ships, don't mess with French ships, don't mess with American ships. Um, because even, you know, if the German ship is better, like the case with the Graf Spee versus a British cruiser, um, you're going to still, you're going to lose that battle in the end because ultimately you're going to summon the fleet and uh, then you're going to get blown out of the water, uh, which is what happened with Bismarck um, and others, right? So even if you're moderately successful, you can sink one of their ships, they're still going to sink you in the end because they just have vastly superior numbers. Um, that was Graf Spee's job. It, it was, as all surface German surface warships, their job was not to fight the British. It was to sink merchant ships. Uh, to kill civilians. Typical of... Uh, of that regime, right, <laughs> is killing civilians. So that was the, the German Navy carried out that, that, uh, <laughs> the killing of civilians at sea. So it was hunting for convoys, uh, for trading ships, for civilian ships, fishing boats, anybody they could kill, um, they would. Um, so they sunk quite a few convoy, uh, vessels in the Indian Ocean and in, um, later on and around South Africa and, and, and into South America. Um, the Graf Spee, um, very, they were very other inventive, their, their captain was. Um, he would disguise the ship as a French ship. So nobody knew, um, <laughs> uh, so what he'd do, he'd disguise it as a French ship by painting it that way, making it look like it had kind of a tripod mast and so uh, he'd hail him over the, the comms, the radio, and tell him, hey, slow down, this is a French ship, we need to search your vessel. A and so they would all, you know, do so, and by the time Graf Spee got close enough, uh, and the poor civilian ship realized it was not a French one, it was too late and they were getting sunk. So um, they also did this with the British ships. They disguised themselves as a British cruiser, uh, by doing the paint, by adding an extra funnel, uh, a fake funnel, and a fake extra turret to make it look like a British cruiser. And uh, they were very successful with that too, hailing ships and, and then uh, allowing them to get close enough to, uh, to take them out. This came to a head um, in South America at the Battle of the River Plate. Again, the Nazi directive, uh, so this is in 1939, the Nazi directive is do not engage with any, do not engage British warships, do not mess with the Royal Navy. 
Um, Graf Spee saw a convoy and they went for it. They did not realize it was heavily escorted by British cruisers. They would be facing off against the the HMS Exeter, the heavy cruiser, the HMS Ajax, and Achilles, li uh, British light cruisers. Uh, so Grashby was outmatched and outnumbered, uh, but still did really ba well in the, this Battle of the River Plate. She was able to disable almost all of the guns on Exeter and Exeter had to briefly retreat and return, uh, firing only its rear gun in the battle. Uh, and, it, and it got down to one gun, so it was just only firing one gun, uh, but it still kept fighting. So pretty pretty legendary on the part of Exeter to carry on that way. Uh, Ajax would have almost all of her guns disabled too in the battle, except for three of them. Um, and Achilles managed to, to um, survive without too much damage. But the combination of Exeter, Achilles, and Ajax just dismantled the Graf Spee. Um, you know, she, she took a hammering to the point where she was barely seaworthy. And what I mean by seaworthy is, is like this thing could sink uh, at any moment. <laughs> so um, Graf Spee retreated and fled and was able to escape, and, and the British they didn't pursue because um, their ships were pretty beat up too and they fled to Argentina and hit out there uh, problem right and so they, they able to get uh, you know help from the Argentine government to let them do their ship repairs there so essentially they're hiding in the harbor the Argentine harbor well, the Royal Navy, obviously, you know, they were amassing ships just waiting for Graf Spee to get out of harbor so they could blow it the hell up. And uh, the German captain knew this. Hans Lengsdorf knew this. And um, so rather than go down fighting, he decided to scuttle the ship. If you don't know this, it's very popular for the Germans to scuttle all their ships. Um, Claiming victory in the jaws of defeat, or something like that. I, I, anyway, I, I never understood the practice um, of committing suicide rather than fighting to the end. Um, I don't agree with it. But anyway, uh, so what he did, um, he set the ship out of harbor, and uh, they loaded that thing up with dynamite, rigged it to the torpedoes, and blew the ship to pieces so that it sank. And um, Longstorff, the captain, uh, shot himself in the head, committed suicide. That's the story of the Graf Spee. The ship committed suicide and the captain committed suicide. So, whoa. All right, pretty interesting stuff. Um, yeah, so that is that is the history of the Graf Spee, sunk in 1939 um, by the British. Well, scuttled, but... In all, uh, in all intents and purposes, she was sunk by the British. Uh, forced her to commit suicide, <laughs> if you want to say that. Um, so I am, I am playing conservatively with Graf Spee. I know she's got tough armor, but this is a battleship. Um, even though it's the Sharn Horse, and I believe she has smaller guns, it, it's still a battleship. I still really shouldn't be messing with this guy, but, but I am. And I'm hoping I can get him with these torps. And I gotta keep in mind the German battleship has torps as well. Uh, for you guys that care about naval history, um, n the German battleships were not the only ones that had torpedoes. Every, but all these battleships had torpedoes. I, it's just the German battleships are not. They're weaker than British and American battleships are just not as good and, and so they had to they had to give them those torps for balancing reasons to try to make it um, to give German battleships a chance alright let's see how these land 
Yes, got him. So you saw that. I, I mean, I was able to take on a, a, a German battleship and survive long enough in order to use my torpedoes. Uh, which is pretty amazing. I'm going to get out of here. This is bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Retreat. Try to hide in a... I'm going to try to hide in a harbor somewhere in Argentina. <laughs> and then scuttle the ship. Alright, so... Yeah, that would be awesome if every German ship, you could just, instead of letting them sink you, you could just scuttle your ship. Like that was the special German uh, consumable with Scuttle and all of a sudden your ship just detonates and blows up. And you get a kill. Yeah, it even says like ship destroyed and you get a kill for it. That would be a unique, that would be a cool unique German trait that would be historically accurate. I'm trying to get away from Normandy, but this is a, this is a slow ship, all my extra armor took up weight is heavy so he, he's a slow ship but if I, if I can successfully retreat then I have captured this base and Normandy you know he fled so far away he's out of the battle now so uh, that's a you know I put in some ways I put two ships out of action because he ended up running away I didn't do that he's just stupid if he was smart he would have charged me and took him, taken me out it's just me and the QE at this point. So I'm going to try to rendezvous with him over at, over at sea and engage the cruisers because I, I don't stand a chance against... Um, I don't stand a chance against Normandy with, with so little hit points remaining. So I'm going to try to take out the the cruisers which I definitely stand a chance against I'm gonna be able to pin her uh, pin their armor and get some good hits although I might uh, honestly uh, you know uh, with with Graf Spee you are gonna see some over pins <laughs> on these guys and yeah I imagine it is possible uh, to citadel a battleship with these uh, with these with these 283 millimeter guns so we have one destroyer, two cruisers, one battleship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunt the battleship, or hunt the cruisers, sorry, and stay out of the range of Normandy. I don't want to mess with him. I got lucky just to take down one battleship. But you know we've got sixty thousand damage so far, and that's pretty darn good. So even if I were to go down. It would have been worth it, and yeah, this is what this is what Grash B was designed to do. Um, although Normandy is at a faster ship than me, that's not supposed to work that way. But uh, Normandy is a fake ship; it's not real. That's why it's so fast. <laughs> and her design was only supposed to be 23 knots, not 29, so uh, or 30. Yeah, this is Normandy's a much faster ship than me, so I don't think I'm going to be able to escape it. And that's a problem if you're a cruiser, if you can't escape the big fish. And now he spotted me. We'll be able to unload. I'm going to try to get around this island before he can get to me. And he has fired his guns. Shoot. That. The ship is fair. on fire. There's a Miyoko, he's only 19 kilometers away. Problem solved, sir. Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. If you ever question like what's the relevance of speed, this is it here. I'm not able to get away from a much bigger fish, and that's a problem. When you don't have speed, you understand why it's important. All right, Milko should be in gun range. Let's see how these big guns uh, take on a cruiser. And again, 283 millimeter guns. Yeah, 
Yes, here we go. <coughs> but I do only have six of them. Just gotta hope they hit. So when you aim, you wanna definitely hit. So we got some hits on him. I'm gonna turn here. I've got better armor than he has guns. He shouldn't be able to sit it on me. Shouldn't be able to do much damage to him either. Yes! We hit a citadel and that's a... destroyed him. It's just me now at this point. So I'm gonna try to do as much damage as I can before I go down. I'm gonna go ahead and send the scout plane up. Shit. Normandy, no! And when you're the last one left, it's a problem, because... Ain't got nobody to kill. Uh, the, the enemy has nobody else to kill. They're all going to be aiming for me. But, you know, 70,000 damage, two kills is huge on a cruiser. And if you notice in the earlier video, at the beginning of the video, I took on a battleship and was able to survive, which is pretty incredible. Took a chunk of hit points, like 30,000 almost, but I did survive it and was able to sink it with my torpedoes. So that... I mean, her armor, Graf Spee's armor is definitely very helpful. There's a German destroyer. I'm going to load HE at this point. Nice hit on him. We might get three on this little bugger. I'm going to go sonar here. Let's find the cruisers, uh, the torps, before they find me. There they are in the water. I'm going to make a sharp turn to port. Fire those guns. Pray for the best. Did not get the best. But he is on fire. And that will hopefully end him. Yes, it does. So he is down for the count. We've taken down three now. Go back to... Ah! Oh. Man, I was really hoping to get a chance at that last cruiser. And take him down as well, but... You know, almost 80,000 damage and three kills. That is massive um, performance there. Three defending medals. Uh, two floods caused. You had torpedoes. One hit to the Citadel. Four fires. One aircraft shot down. Two uh, torpedo hits. 53 main battery hits. Uh, uh, five incapacitations. Uh, God, this thing lit it up. Three destroyed. So... Yeah, and I was top on my team, of course. Um, you have a good battle like that. That's a given. Um, guys, this ship, the Graf Spee, I'm going to give this an, an A. If you get the chance to get this ship, um, if you don't care about it being German or it's Nazi affiliations, if you just don't care about that stuff and you just want to play a ship and you want a cruiser, get this one. Um, I'm giving it an A and not an A+. Plus. The, on, the only reason I'm not giving it a higher grade is the um, the slower speed, right? Um, the 29 knots as opposed to like 34 or 35. And we saw in that last battle that it did make a difference. The, the battleship Normandy could hunt me down. And... and uh, you know, nearly sunk me. So, uh, speed does matter, and this ship does not really have it. So that is important. You'll be able to outrun other battleships at that tier, but Normandy, you're not going to be able to outrun. Um, so, A, I'm going to give it an A. I believe this is the best cruiser at Tier 5, and you might even find yourself the best cruiser at Tier 6 if you play with this. It has the biggest guns for a cruiser in the entire game, even at Tier 7. Um, if you want to try something different, like a different fun play style, you like cruisers, you're kind of like, well, let me... Or you like battleships, and you want to say, hey, let's try a ship that's different. Graf Spee is the one. And it has 150 millimeter. It has eight 150 millimeter secondary guns. So that it's it's gonna be able to citadel other cruisers just with its secondary guns if it were lucky enough to hit. Um, it's got big guns, huge HP, great armor, beyond exceptional armor. Um, 
you're going to be tough to take down. In the games I've played as a battleship where I'm hammering away at Gruff Spi, she doesn't sink the way a normal cruiser does. I mean, this it takes time to sink, sink the Gruff Spi. Um, so in A, I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Get this ship.